Good day everyone my name is Shaini and welcome back to another episode of Thoughtful Leaders Thoughts on Education presented by College Dunia Today we have with us Dr Sanjay Chauhan sir director and professor of graduate school of pharmacy Gujarat Technological University Welcome to our show sir to start off with the interview I would first like you to ask that you have held key positions throughout your uh, professional career what are the main factors that keep you connected with the education sector sir Uh, ultimately the my objective is to develop a competent pharmacy professionals and to build a such a profession which can be globally competent and that can be only happen if you are in education that is the one of the my prime motive to enter into the academic sector so sir moving to my next question uh, being the director of uh, graduate school of pharmacy Uh, what is your philosophy of leadership and how do you describe your leadership style sir uh the my leadership there is no any particular style of leadership but my approach uh, towards the leadership is that i have to build a capacity among my all the stakeholders so whether it is a students faculty technical staff or a supportive staff right so we can build a capacity among the all the resources and the main objective is to provide a skilled and productive professional workforce for the pharmaceutical industries and that is the one of the uh, skills which i use to uh, increase the uh, message among the all the stakeholder of the research school of pharmacy right so So my question is now uh, how do you strategize about the key programs and plan for the administration of your institutes sir uh, see there is a we have uh, adopted a total novel approach uh, we can invite uh, various industry and the professional leaders as a informal meeting i'm not inviting them as any kind of the expert or a guest lectures or any talk but i can invite them for the informal talk they can come and sit with our faculty member with our students and discuss what is the happening currently in the industry in the pharma uh, faculties and in the pharma professions right and the most importantly our aim is not only to produce a skilled and productive workforce for only the state and the nation but we are keeping the whole global in our eyesight and that is the one of the major approach and the strategy which can increase our competency and capacity with compared to the global standards right so well explained sir uh, so uh, my question is now um, how does the curriculum of your department ensure the best practice of the industry uh, our based curriculum part is experiential learning we can give the exposure of various techniques in the recent techniques which is adopted by the industry and the pharma professionals we provide those techniques to our uh, young and energetic students and based on their experimental learning they can give their inputs and based on their inputs they are the more productive compared to others uh, to the pharma profession and that is one of the biggest advantage of bridge school of pharmacy okay sir so uh, what are your roles and responsibilities to uh, gtu and the students as well uh so my role is i'm the professor and director but along with this it is my moral duty is that i have to give a base and best knowledge to my students and the faculty member which can be a uh, more productive and the competent with the global startups what do you think should be gujarat technological university's top priority over the next 5 years see gujarat technological university having the vision Uh, in a pharmacy domain because gujarat is one of the biggest uh, in a number and the volume for the producing of the medicines right and the gujarat is the hub of the pharmacy so our top priority under the single roof of the gujarat technological university we can provide all the education aspects and the industrial resources under the gtu uh, uh, roof and starting from the we can say a uh, retail pharmacy community pharmacist to the expert industrialist 
should we come over here and you should cover the formulation development, API development, clinical trials, and all the streams of the pharmacy get a single solution at the drug technology community. In the next five years, we are going to develop a very good, robust system which is having uh, analytical services, formulation and development services, and the regulatory services for the industrial pharmacy uh, as a big the education institution. So, this is the approach where the student get the real experimental in how the industry has to behave and how to stand with the global standards. So we comply with all the regulatories because a pharma profession is highly regulated profession, right? So you know to take a medicines. So we are giving a, that kind of the knowledge to our students and that can be helped to the industry and the profession. So my question is now, what would you like people to know about Gujarat Technological University that they may not know? Uh, that is, what is the USP of this university? Uh, there is a USP of the university is that we are the international innovative university, right? And we are in a line to do the collaboration with all the major global universities and the students who have studied in Gujarat Technological University should be competent with the global standards and also work on the various as sustainable development goal SDG which is mentioned by the UN. So that is our main USP where uh, students of the GTU are the global standards. Right sir, so sir we have come to an end of this interview so I would like to end the interview with the question that any advice you would like to give to current youths and aspiring students sir? Uh, definitely I would like to uh, advise to the students because now it is a technological era right and day by day the technologies are newer technologies are developed and some of the older technologies are obsolete but looking to the pharma professions which is uh, one of the noble profession and it is deals with the healthcare of the patients, right? So now there is a possibility of the newer disease should be come out, right? Which is maybe a mental health, maybe a whole uh, lifestyle disease. So now we can also focus such kind of disease as you can aware the students okay, how the pharma professions are benefited from the society and the nations with respect to various healthcare programs. Okay sir, uh, thank you so much sir for your time. Thank you from College Dunia sir.